Hello everyone, welcome to What's In Your Bag. I am Melissa New and my co-host for the day. Hello. Mr. Chase Reynolds with LensRentals.com. How's it going? Doing good. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. And to my stage left is Brian Smith. How's it going? Are we doing the British accents the I, whole time, or are went, we going to move right? I mean, you just, uh, yours just is way better than mine. But this is the soccer ride, so. <laughs> you got the good London, you know, uh, uh, gibberish. So going back to your, um, your your larger Sony cameras versus those, yeah. where do you find the, the, the line is between which, when you go to one or when you go to the other? Yeah, well, I, I jump between, like, a lot of times on a portrait shoot, I'll take both. Yeah. Almost, almost every situation where it's a portrait um, or a travel image, I haven't found in most instances like that that I'd want the larger body. I think the, the larger um, DSR comes in really handy if you're shooting sports, mm -hmm. if you're a burger, you know, you're shooting, um, you know, with a long telephoto lens, yeah. having, having a body, you, you're going to want a little bit more weight in your hand anyway, and I think... Um, these have adapters, they focus really, really fast with it, but if you're gonna primarily shoot with long telephoto lenses like the 300 yeah. um, or 500 millimeter lens, like Those are weight and size yeah. are not really yeah. a big thing. Yeah, it's it's, yeah. Uh, it's almost like, you know, you're really mounting the body to the, to yeah. the lens, not the other way around. Yeah. So I think in situations like that, it makes perfect sense to go with a, with a dedicated A-mount camera system, but, you know, for walking around travel, it's like I'm traveling with like half the weight that I normally had, so I'm more likely to take the gear I really need mm -hmm. instead of, you know, one body and a lens. Have you had a chance to mess with any of the, um, you know, with some of these, these newer cameras, they adapt newer technology, like you can put an app on that thing now. Um, have you had a chance to mess with actually, that? Actually, like there's, that? yeah, there's an app that um, ships with it. It's one of the Sony apps that, um, a, one of the play memories that is a remote mm -hmm. um, camera access. And the cool thing about it is not only will let you trigger the, the camera, which right. you know you can do with the remote, but you can actually get a video capture from it and see the moment. So if you've got a camera right. mounted camera, overhead yeah. and you want to wait for that moment and trigger it, um, you, can, you can do that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's kind of cool what all these things do with, oh, with yeah. apps that are built in. Uh, I tend to go between that and standard trigger depending what we need to do but um you know it is it is a new and changing game and some of this new stuff is really uh, very it's very exciting. cool yeah it doesn't help that you know or it doesn't hurt that it's lighter too you know it's not, yeah <laughs> we're not breaking our backs right into the yeah. airports but it's and, but the nice thing is like it's lighter without compromise mm -hmm. i mean it was mirrorless to me Still it's like frame. i started shooting yeah. when the first nex5 came out and that was great um you know it's aps C chip in that one, yeah. which I liked a lot, but like this is the real deal. Like mm -hmm. it's like to actually have more resolution from a full frame chip than I do with my bigger cameras. Mm -hmm. It's like there's fewer and fewer times I find myself needing to go back to that. Yeah, it really doesn't let. Yeah. Brian, where can where can we see your work? Um, I'm on BrianSmith.com is the website. You can dig around there. There's sections for books, gear. Um, there's a blog. Every Hopefully everything people are looking for, we've got some of that on there. Awesome. And on t Twitter, at Brian Smith Photo. Awesome.